Hey guys, welcome back. Chase here. Uh, in today's video is going to be about uh, fusing and how to make money off of fusing, uh, specifically food fusing. Um, when I first started, I was like, yeah, I can fuse any level of food, uh, so I'll just make the highest level of food, use some for my leveling and stuff, and use some for fusing. That is not the case. I made a lot of mistakes doing this. Um, and the only reliable list that was online for ranks of food, ranks of fusing, like each item as a tier, um, has been deleted. The website is actually changed to some weird angels, like, not angels online, but like angels and divine creation websites. So, um, it's not reliable anymore, and I had to spend a while making my own list, and I have my own list now. I'll post that in the description as well. So, uh, here we go. Uh, so, you're going to make your food. Uh, obviously, you're going to make a chef. To farm food, the closest place to Palm Base. I set my um, wing in Palm Base just so I can get to and fro, to and fro back and forth and whatnot. Um, the closest place is going to be Dream Ocean. Uh, or sorry, Quiet Ocean. Yeah, Quiet Ocean. I believe it's Quiet Ocean. Uh, so, you go to Quiet Ocean. Or raging reefs, I guess that one worked too. And you farm the mats. Um, the mats you're going to farm are blue water fish and where is it? And thunder fillets. Um, and those are going to be the exact mats you're going to farm is blue water fish and thunder meat um, thunder fillet is when you, what happens when you um, produce it into a mat to make the actual food and then you're going to make level 10 food um, it, can, it doesn't matter what it is it could be the attack or the spell attack ones they both cost the same to make all the other ones cost a little bit more to make just make the attack or spell attack ones um, and then you make a lot of it and you start fusing so to fuse just a little tab up here um, you're going to need fusion potions. Those are what you're going to need. Um, now, there's multiple different kinds of fusion potions. There's a lucky fusion potions. Those are the ones you buy from the NPC in the Super Terra, which means your league has, excuse me, has to own um, Thorn Wasteland for Totem War. Um, there's a lesser one in there too, not even worth buying, unless you absolutely need to, unless you're absolutely broke. But if you're broke, you shouldn't be fusing food anyway. Um, you should be using this character to farm gold. But, um, yeah, there's a lucky fusion potion. And then if you go over here, um, like I said, my, my thing is in Palm Base just because it's easier. It's right near where I need a farm so I can walk there without too much of an issue. Um, and then in the regular NPC, there's a fusion potion. My recommendation, fusion potions are cheaper than these lucky fusion potions. Um... My recommendation would, when you're fusing the actual food itself, to use fusion potions. Um, and then when you start getting to the ranked food and stuff, you're going to use the um, lucky fusion potions. Basically, the difference is regular fusion potions have a higher chance of dropping to the previous tier when you fuse, and which AK is a fail fuse. It won't say it, but that's basically what it sums up to you. And a lucky fusion potion is a higher chance to go to the next tier instead of going to the previous tier and or staying the same tier. So lucky fusion potion just means you don't drop tier as much. Um, now I'm saying all these things like tier and all that and you guys are probably, for new players, you're probably like, what does tier mean? Alright, so every every item that you can fuse has a tier. Um, it's Now I believe if you go into achievements it'll actually tell you uh, 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 items item fusion yep so it's separated into eight tiers um, it's actually more tiers than this because it's there's nine there's nine this there would be nine tiers technically um, <coughs> and so tier eight is the level nine is the rank nine items like oh, I guess it doesn't these don't actually mean it because you have the faction badges are rank 10 and gender bolus is rank 9, so these don't actually matter. Um, but each, once you get into the higher tiers, you'll have, you'll have like, 
level 8 lucky ride feed, level 9 lucky ride feed, level 10 lucky ride feed, level 9 lucky hammer, lucky piercing hammer, etc. Those are how you tell the rank, the tier ranks are. Um, like I said, the the rank list will be in the description below. Um, the most confusing thing um, about fusing is you'll fuse... Let's see, we'll do an example. We'll fuse these two foods. You can, they can be the same thing. As, you can't, obviously, I can't move this. So you won't even let me move the same stack. It's just fusing. So I'll fuse it. And it'll go to a pet's defense potion. Now, a pet's defense potion does not have a rank. The ranks, the first item in the rank list for this stuff is low effect super red potion, low effect blue potion, fruit of Hercules, fruit of Mars, a geody potion, stuff like that. Uh, and then you have the level stuff, and then, um, let's see, I believe, Pets Defense Potion is, Pets Defense Potion is, is, um, I believe the item rank is one, let's see, where's my list, rank 160, um, and so that's not going to be um, very high. Your your goal is to get to like rank 351. That's where the all the eight hour cards are, the dark badges to get for each tier, um, the skill vouchers, the lucky card eight hours. The, I think the most the best thing in here, and this is why I fuse, is for lucky card eight hours, and double XP eight hours, and pets triple XP eight hours, and those are all the rank 10. Um, and you'll see in my list the actual ranking. Basically, the ranking starts with the lucky eight eight star lucky hammers, eight star lucky pierce, and that's the beginning of the rank tier. Um, and then you'll get gems. Let's see. So I basically just fused two level one things, and it gave me a level one sixty thing. Let's do it again. Here we go to five star lucky pierce. Um, and you just keep doing this. And then when you look at my list, I have my list up when I do this. Um, to see the tiers and basically you want to fuse you want to fuse the same tier with the same tier so you don't want to fuse a tier six item with a tier four item um and you want to fuse a tier one item with a uh, a tier nine item because then it's it'll drop the chances of upgrading versus um and it'll, it'll increase the chances of downgrading so if you fuse a tier one with a tier three it's going to go off the average of those, which will be tier 2. Um, and it'll probably give you a tier 2 item. And the whole goal is to upgrade tiers so you can get to the better stuff, not downgrade. So if you that rank th uh, tier 3 item is going to waste because you're now getting a tier 2 and technically dropping rank. Um, now it's it doesn't go off the average at all. Um, it seems to go off of the average. It seems to take the average into effect. But there's, there is a chance that you could, because I've used tier 7 and 6 items and gotten a tier 9 item. So there is a chance to upgrade rank. Once again, it depends on the fusion potion that you use. If you want to, up, like I said, use these ones to start. It's cheaper. Once once you finish with your food, uh, I have about, I think, 104 slots to fuse. So I have a lot of fusing to do. Um, and keep the items that you need. Some people, like Pets Windy Scrolls, obviously not useful um, speed up cards and pets pet strike cards are pretty useful for leveling pets you can keep those if you want or you can if you think an item can sell just keep it and throw it in your thing um, these are pretty useful but I can get the better ones um, now this is a higher tier item uh, flawless sapphire on the list is rank 197 um, it's once again that's still below um, where I want to be, obviously I want to be up to 350s, but it's 197, which means I'm getting there. I'm getting to, um, where I want to be. Um, but yeah, that's about it guys. Um, I'm not going to sit here and fuse for you. Um, and make the video way too long. I just wanted a quick description of item fusion for you. Um, like I said, the way to make money, this is a very good way to make money, especially for non ag users. You are going to need money to start. Um, but like I see, I have 890 mil. That that'll get me seven months, eight months, or or not probably not that long. Probably about three or four months of fusing, because you do have to buy the fusion potions, um, and you also have to buy the mats to make the food. 
and the mat vendor for here is over here at Aurora Stuff Shop for Aurora at least um, and you're gonna have to buy blue water row to make the burgers um, so it does it is, does cost money to make money but at the end you get to the end tier and you get all these cool items and Kronos for example those super lucky cards are selling for 100 bill a piece um, so that's a good amount of money um, so it is a good way to make money you just have to be smart about it you have to have your farmer your producer going 24 7 as you can see I have two robots uh, one for collecting and one for manufacturing I like to min max so I switch bots and just I mean even if it saves me 10 minutes of collecting that's 10 minutes I can spend manufacturing and 10 more minutes I can spend fusing time is money etc etc uh, thanks for watching guys any comments or see anything I did anything I did wrong please comment on it any questions please comment on it I get a lot of PMs in games about items because of the videos I've made and builds and stuff like that so if I don't answer you it's not anything personal it's just I might not be there or I um, I'm talking to someone else but I do answer everything that I get um, do not PM me mail me my name is earth chase e a r t h c h a s e M write a mail and i'll respond to mail if you pm me i may not see it because of spam um but thanks for watching guys if uh, make sure you like my videos and subscribe to my channel for more angels online videos